Welcome back. It's got to be one of the country's most exclusive addresses. But how much would you expect to pay for a terraced house once owned by former Senator, the late PJ Mara? Yes, we're here to answer all of those burning questions. <laughs> Laura has been snooping around another property. See if you can guess the price before she reveals all at the end. David, you've opened the doors to 19 Wellington Road for us today and what a magnificent period house it is in the heart of Bulls Bridge. Tell us a bit about it. Well, this is a classic late Georgian home on this splendid uh, road with terraced houses on either side. They're classically proportioned rooms, elegant rooms, beautiful cornice work, fireplaces, light filled with large sliding sash windows. All the original features are here. It's a tremendous family home. This particular terrace of houses must be over 200 yards long. Nothing has ever been done to damage the terrace. Uh, I would say it's probably the longest terrace of Lake Georgian houses in Dublin. It's a wide uh, avenue type road, tree lined with a grass verge on either side. It's a very elegant setting. If you didn't know who the owner was of this house and you had to walk through, the books on the bookshelves might give it away. Uh, they would, yeah. There's uh, quite a political tone on the bookshelves. It is the property of the late PJ Mara. It's been very well looked after, uh, sensitively restored, and then quite cleverly extended to the rear. Uh, an architect, John O'Connell, who would be big into heritage and conservation, uh, did a tremendous job. Um, and there's a three-story extension to the rear of this house that really gives quite an extra dimension to the accommodation. The master bedroom upstairs has a huge dressing room and a very good ensuite. Sometimes ensuites are difficult to squeeze into these houses. Uh, we have two kitchens in this house, one at the garden level and one at the hall level. Uh, so if you're entertaining formally at the hall floor, there's no need to be running up and down the stairs. The trend now is for people to try and use all the rooms in the house as often as they can. The formal use of these rooms has probably uh, wane somewhat. People like to use these rooms. They're magnificent rooms and they like to use them every day rather than just for ceremonial occasions. Behind you we have the dining room and beyond that is an extension and what I'm really quite impressed by is the level of attention and care that was taken to make this extension blend with the original features. So they took moulds of the original cornice work in these two rooms and then that was replicated for the, the kitchen to the rear. So it fits in seamlessly. As you go up the first floor return, how many bedrooms are we looking at? Uh, at the top of the house we have three bedrooms, a master bedroom with an ensuite and a dressing room. To the front of the house there are two further bedrooms that overlook uh, Wellington Road itself. What a beautiful view to wake up to. Beautiful view and the sun coming in on that side in the morning. There's a fourth bedroom in the garden level of the house and a family, an everyday family room also at that level with the bookcases and the books that you alluded to. Talk to us about the garden. It's a, it's a city garden, it's about 30 feet square. Um, it's on the right side of the road, so it gets the afternoon and evening sun, um, but it's not for football. It's, it's, it's for sitting out and taking in the surroundings. What kind of a buyer is currently attracted to this house, David? A well-heeled buyer, I think, would be the first thing, but also someone who's probably coming in to live closer to town. They've done a big house and gardens, um, their children will be of a certain age that being out in the garden is not an issue um, and really the whole idea is to simplify your life, less your commute uh, and live much closer to uh, Grafton Street or St Stephen's Green. How deep do your pockets have to be if you want to make 19 Wellington Road your own? The asking price we are asking here is £2,750,000. Which is a huge amount of money but professionally speaking is it a bargain? It's a fairly priced house, uh, it's a lot of house, it's an area where houses will continue to appreciate. You can't build houses here anymore, they're finite um, and this is a particularly good example of a house on this road. Mm -hmm.